YouTube channel, Cindy Inspires. Um, but before we get started, make sure you give a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe right down below if you want to see this video and all my other videos. Let's get started. So today we are going to be making something very exciting. We're going to be making a Mother's Day basket. And it's very exciting because I'm sure all of you guys know that Mother's Day is coming up. Um, and mothers deserve, um, of course, a very relaxing day. So our theme color is pink. Um, but our actual like, theme of what these um, stuff is, um, is a spa day. So like, for instance, we have like, um, we have this little um, manicure set here. We have scissors, we have no filer, we have clippers, stuff like that. And then right here, we have a coconut shea butter scented body wash. And um, for those of you who don't know what it smells like, it smells very, very good. Um, it's probably one of the favorite soaps I, scented soaps I've had. Um, and then another thing we have is this um, real scented smoothing bath salts. And this smells very, very good. Like it's probably one of the best smells I've ever had. Um, it smells very good. Um, and another thing, who doesn't love bath bombs? They're, they're so amazing. And then it also says goddess. I think that's super cute. It's like pink and then it has gold on top. So that's super cute. We also have um, chocolates. I mean, that's just something that everyone has have to give mothers on Mother's Day chocolates. And then we also have this watermelon and kiwi scented candle. And this smells very good. Mostly like strawberries, but I can still smell a little um, kiwi. And then here's like another thing we have these um, shampoo and conditioner. They're both sherry blossom scent. I think that's super cute. And then one more thing I want to show you that's super cool is this little book. So it's also very cute on the front because it has the flowers, the sparkle, and all the glitter. It says, for my mother, some love and inspiration to brighten your day. That is super cute. And then like one of, it says, a gift for from, um, something really cute in here is like, God could not be everywhere and therefore he made mothers. That is so cute. That's, that, like, that definitely makes the Mother's Day. Um, so I don't want to show you all the things, but we have about 20 feet, 23 um, things, items right here that we're going to put in our basket, and the, they are all from Dollar Tree. Um, we have this little, these basket bags for afterwards, after we put everything in the basket and stuff. We have the little, like, Decorative shredding, pink, obviously. Um, you only need one of these. You have pink, obviously, since that's a theme color. And then these little ribbons. We couldn't find like a really regular, like tying ribbon, so we just have these little like curly rib ribbons, and we're gonna try to make that work. So of course, this is our basket. We just need a simple basket. That's all. It can be any type. Um, and. Um, you can give this to whoever you want. You can give this to a really sweet friend of yours. You can give this to someone in your family, like your aunt, your mother, your grandma, whoever you want. We are going to gift this to someone that we help during the holidays, like during Christmas, who we think would definitely appreciate this and enjoy this um, little Mother's Day basket with the spa day stuff. Um, and we want to like spoil her with all these stuff, so it'll be super sweet. Um, so we know that she'll really enjoy this. Okay guys, so um, now we're going to start putting our stuff in the gift basket. But there's a couple things I want to say before we start. So whenever you, we already um, put the little, um, the shredding, the little pink shreds are already in here. But it's um, a very good tip is that it's all bunched up in the package. 
whenever um, you took it out. So what you want to do is just kind of like spread it out like that, like fluff it up just like that to make sure it fits in your bucket like that. Otherwise, it'll be all bunched together. Okay, another very important tip is when is that whenever you're putting the stuff in, like for example, this is something really tall like that you can put in first because um, put the taller stuff in first back here, the medium size in the middle, and the smaller in the front because if you cover it up with the taller stuff, you won't be able to see it. Okay, so let's get started. And then um, one more thing, for, for the stuff just like this, um, you see it has this part sticking up. You don't want to see that. So either cut across it, but make sure you don't cut on this line because otherwise it'll open the package. Just cut right across that. Or what you can do, I'll show you guys. You're just going to fold it like that. And then I'm going to take my piece of tape. <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm going to just Keep it like that. You can kind of press it if you want. Just like that. Okay. So I think I'm going to start with my coconut shea butter scented body wash. And I'll put that like right here. Oh my god. Now this is kind of weird, but it already looks so adorable. Okay. So now what we can put, um, we can also put this in here, I think. That'd be super cute. And then another thing we can put, you can also put like these bath crystals, um, hibiscus, rose, um, scented. It's calm, nourish, and hydrate. <laughs> and you can put that like right there. And then another thing we have is we have this um, little, um, multivitamin um, like spa treatment mask. So put that in there, right here. Um, we also have this um, hand cream, um, hibiscus rose, put that like there. And then another thing that we have is this, we have these bath bombs, um, the rose petal kisses. <laughs> so cute. I mean, who doesn't love bath bombs? I'm gonna put that like right there. I think that's a good spot for it. Um, I think we'll put this next. And this is something that you rub on your feet when you have like super dry skin. So we'll do that. Maybe like that. I think that'll go good. And then we have this body scrub, Hippocus Rose. <laughs> Someone here, Hippocus Rose. So funny. <laughs> put that like right there. And then let's put maybe, let's do like this one. This is a scented shower gel. We'll do that. And we'll put that like right Hmm, maybe like right here, that go there. And then let's put next, let's put this one. So for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a glove, but it has a certain material where you rub it um, very gently on your skin and then it takes off like super dry skin that you have. You know what, I think I'm gonna move this and put it in the back. So that's another thing you can do as you're putting this in. You can like move certain stuff that you think you want to go somewhere else. Okay, so now let's see. I'll put like this right here. This is a makeup remover. Everyone definitely needs that for people who put makeup on. Hmm. Let's put that maybe, let's say right here. And then I'll put this maybe right here. Okay, so now um, let's put like this little body wash. Maybe I'll put this back over here, just like that. That'll fit. <laughs> and I think now 
let's put this little shampoo and conditioner. Um, this is cherry blossom scent. That's something new. Like right there, maybe. And then let's put our little um, book. You know what, actually, I have something else I want to put before that to make sure I have um, I'm going to put this um, matchbook nail file files. Maybe like right here. I'll put that. Okay. And now let's put like our... You are very sweet. That's so cute. And it's just like a ma macaron, little lip balm right here. Now let's put um, our little um, massaging thing. I actually have one of these too. I think it's a little bigger than this um, and it's um, a teal color. So let's put that like right there so you can still see the bottle of body wash. Now let's put maybe the little manicure set, manicure set like right here on the side. Now let's put um, this little, we have little chocolates here, Russell Steven chocolates. Um, still work, <laughs> salmon chocolates. Okay, and we're gonna put this, you know what, I'm gonna move this right here actually, and then I'm gonna put this right there, okay. Now let's put our Duff body wash right here. I mean, no, not Duff. <laughs> I'm so used to Duff body wash. Um, nurturing body care, beauty cream. <laughs> okay. Put that right there. And then we have our little um, scented candle, watermelon and kiwi scented. Put that like, hmm. Let's say maybe right here we can put that fit that in there. I guess that can work. Like that. And then we can put our book, you know, I may put this actually right there. And then you can still see it a little. And then, hold on. I'll move this up a little. <laughs> well, no, that won't work out. Okay. And then last but not least, actually, we have our um, bath bomb, a super cute bath bomb that says goddess on it. Super cute. Let's put that maybe right, hmm, maybe right here we can fit that in there. Maybe like that. Maybe that'll work. Okay. So, There we go, that's our super cute gift basket. I think this turned out really well. I did have to move a couple things to make it fit better. That's the whole point of this basket. You can like move stuff around to see where it fits and stuff. And this is super cute. I think this couldn't turn out any better. Um, so I really hope that you guys, if you're following along or making a gift basket, that it turns out well, because this is something really cute to make. Um, and I think if you do this, then you'll um, love it very much. So um, I'm back, guys, and my mom, as you can see, the big plastic piece that came up. And so my mom helped me put the plastic bag on. But the, as you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see, but these sides are sticking out on those sides. So we're, what we're gonna do is just go like that. You're gonna need your tape for this. So I'm gonna get a piece of tape. I'm gonna go like that, fold it back, and tape it just like that to the to the um, basket. Just like that, and now you can't even tell. And then same on the other side. Take that piece back and tape it to the side. Okay? And so now um, for this part, 
All you need is like um, a little rubber band or a hair tie or whatever you need. And um, I just have a rubber band with me. And this is gonna cover the um, ribbon, but if you think the ribbon is tight enough, you can just cut the little rubber band through. But um, make sure it's um, as tight as possible. Make sure that um, there's no air in it. And you're gonna grab it, tie it together. Now, just gonna go like that, pull it through. If you need any help from your adult or parent from whoever's around um, to help you, then you can just ask for help. But it shouldn't be that hard. Like that. And then whenever you think it's tight enough, then I'll get then you can get to the ribbon part. Okay. Like that there there we go I think that should be tight enough and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ribbon I'm gonna come around over here because it's easier for me you're gonna wrap it around there and then kind of pull it through it depends, I may do this um, one time or two times, depends on how tight I need it to be. And pull it through. Just like that. And just pull it to tighten it. I think I will do it one more time so I can make it look just a little better. Okay, same thing. Just pull it through. Just like that. And then tighten it. Okay, just like that. And that looks super cute. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is since there's, you see how that covers up the rubber band so you can't even see it. Then what we're going to do is, since there's a big piece sticking up, and it'll make it a lot heavier, I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut about half of that like right here. <laughs> Got stuck on the um, plastic right there. Because it's so thick. Hold on. Just like that. And then puff it up. Just like that. That looks so adorable. Look how cute that looks. I think this turned out like very well. Um, and we only had to use a little bit of our ribbon. We didn't even have to use all of our ribbon. So um, I do really think this turned out really good. I think it's adorable and me gifting it to someone is like a really good idea. So I'm really excited and I hope that um, she loves it um, because I think it's really cute. So I hope um, I inspired you to do this if you're following along. Um, and yeah, so I hope I inspired you to try something new and inspire others too. Bye guys, see you next time with Cindy Inspires. Happy Mother's Day.